and, and I walked up to the brother, and, and, I, and I said, Jeremiah, what you said today, brother, that was some heavy stuff. I said, I'm going to take out my pen and my paper, and I just need to write this down. I said, I'll always give you credit for saying that I heard you say it, but I'm, 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 I'm going to say this everywhere I go. And I think this is one of the kindest ways to speak to our staunchest Christian brothers and sisters, to help them understand. It is the best way to speak to our staunchest Muslim brothers and sisters, Jewish brothers and sisters. Every religion you have, as black people, Jeremiah Kamara said that day, to continue to practice and believe in a faith system that no longer meets your needs and solves your problems is like carrying the boat on your back after you crossed the river. What you needed the most to get you across the river, bless that boat. But once you've crossed the river and you're walking on land, the very boat that crossed the river becomes a burden on your back when you're on the land. And it stops you. It cripples you from being able to understand the truest role of spirituality. Religions are the children of spirituality. From agnostic to Zoroastrianism, A to Z, it all came out of Africa. It all came out of our mind, and there is only one story. There is only one word. There is only one universe. And when you raise yourself to a certain level of thinking, when you have studied long enough, you then go to a building where you learn the secrets of spirituality as it relates to the sacred science, and that is called a what? A universe 